Assignment 17 Grammar Word Formation Assalamualaikum Grade 7 I hope you are doing well and enjoying your e-lessons and Zoom classes and doing your assignments, home tasks, etc. with great responsibility. This is your Assignment 17 Grammar Word Formation. This video is divided into parts so do watch each part in order to understand the concepts. You can open your grammar tree book page 149 or you can open your assignments. Let's start today's lesson. So students, do you know that we can form new words by adding affixes? Do you know what affixes are? Do you have any idea about prefixes or suffixes? What kinds of words can be formed by adding affixes to the word or to the root words? Alright, so new words can easily be formed by using prefixes and suffixes to the root word. Prefixes and suffixes are together called affixes. Right? Okay. Prefixes are the words that are added before the root word and suffixes are the words that are added after the root word. So pre are for before and suffixes are after the root word. So first of all we will discuss about prefixes and then the suffixes. So what are prefixes? Prefixes are the letters which we add to the beginning of a word to make a new word with a different meaning. As I told you before, prefixes are those letters which we add before the root word. Right? So when we add those letters before the root word, they are known as prefixes. They can, for example, create a new opposite word. Right? When we add prefixes to the words, right, it makes them opposite. Sometimes it makes them opposite. Sometimes it makes it negative. How to express relation of time, place, or manner. So, prefixes. When they're added to the root words, they can either make them opposite or negative or they sometimes express the relation of time, place or manner, right? In which sense they have been used, okay? So I'm give you, going to give you some examples now of the prefixes, okay? We have some examples of prefixes, possible, able, payment, war, right? These are the base words. Now how we are going to make? By adding the prefixes, possible will become impossible. Able, unable. Payment, non payment. War, pre war. Okay, now the type of meaning they portray, right? What type of meaning? Do they portray? If you look at the possible to impossible, it's the opposite of it. Right? It is the opposite of it. Possible, impossible. Able, unable. Okay, it is again opposite, but also negative. Right? Then we have payment, non payment. It is negation, negative. War, pre war. It shows time, like before the war. Okay? So the prefixes that we use, it can either be showing that. It, we have made an opposite of that word or we have made a negation or we are referring to a time, place or a manner. Okay? 
So I have some more examples. Let's see those examples. All right. X, X means previous or former X president. Inter, inter means between, like inter school, inter colleges. Semi or semi. Semi circle, half, like half of something. Equal means equal to or the same. Equidistant. Auto, auto is like done by oneself or itself. Autobiography, biography that is written by that person himself. Anti or anti, anti-social or anti-social, which means the opposite of something, right? This is also an opposite of something, right? Respect, disrespect. Activate, deactivate, contrary or opposite to, right? There are so many other examples like sub, submarine, lower than, up, upstream, at a higher level, trans, transatlantic means across the Atlantic, miss means wrongly, right? So judge, misjudge, non means not, not non-profit, Micro means small, so we can make microscope. Macro means large, like macromolecules. And tele means linking across distance, means telegraph. Okay, these are some of the examples. All right, so there are prefixes that help to form antonyms, right? Antonyms means the opposites, right? What are these? These are dis, im, in, un, ir, il, right? So these are the words or the letters that we add to the prefix, uh, to the root words to make prefixes and they make the antonyms or opposites of the root word. Now there are prefixes that help to form a verb or verbs, fine? For example, m, m, in, for, for, over, and in. So when we use these letters with the root words, the words that are formed are normally the verbs. Okay? So now we will move towards our first exercise, exercise A. Alright. So your exercise A is with appropriate prefixes form antonyms of the given words. So I'm doing the first two for you. Advantage will become disadvantage. Logical will become illogical. You have to do the rest in the same way. Next is our exercise B. Exercise B is with appropriate prefixes form verbs of the given words. So again, I have uh, done two for you. Able will become enable. Sake will become forsake. Right? So you have to do the rest in the same way. These were the prefixes. All right? Now we will move towards the suffixes. All right. Suffixes, a letter or a group of letters added at the end of a word to make a new word, right? When we talk about suffixes, it means after, right? So when we are adding the letters at the end or after the root word, right after the root word, it's called suffixes, right? At the end of the root word, when we add letters, they are known as suffixes. I'll give you some examples now. Alright. Forget or use. With forget and use, if we add full, it becomes forgetful or useful. State or govern. If we use meant at the end of these words, it becomes or they becomes statement government or government complicate create if we use ion with it it becomes complication and creation there are some rules regarding making suffixes that we have to omit some letters or we have to add in some letters in order to make the right suffixes right right words so now we will look into that all right 
So often the suffixes causes a spelling change to the original word. As I've given you examples of complicate and create, the e at the end has been dropped and ion has been used. There are other examples like these as well, right? So I'm going to tell you that uh, which letters will be omitted or removed and which letters will replace them. So the first one is that Y changes to I, right? For example, beauty. Fine. We want to add a suffix full with it. It will become beauty full. The Y is replaced with the I, right? For example, heavy. Right? If you want to add ness with it, heaviness. Heaviness. Okay? So the Y here are replaced with the letter I before using the suffix. Next is E changes to L. Like right? LE changes to IL. For example, able. Right? So this will be changed into ability. Right? We use ITY with it, but we removed the LE, instead we used IL. Another example is possible. We'll make possibility. Right? This LE will be removed and replaced with IL. And then we will use it word. Okay. Next is all right. So the T when we are using ion to make a new word, the suffix ion, then we omit T, right? We remove the T and we replace it with double S. For example, permit. Right? So we will remove this T, you will make permission. Next example is omit, right? We will make it omission. Okay, now we move towards our next rule. We often drop the final e when a suffix beginning with a vowel is added to a word, right? So when a suffix beginning with a vowel is added to the word, we often drop the letter E, for example, approve. It will become approval. So we drop the E and use the EL instead to make a new word, approval. Next is, when a suffix when a suffix begins with a consonant, we do not normally drop the E, right? So when it starts with the vowel, like in previous one, AL, it started with the vowel A, so we drop the E. But in consonants, we normally do not drop the letter E. For example, force. Force full. So we have a consonant here, so we are not dropping the E. Hope hopeless. So we are not dropping the E here. Okay. Next is the suffix LE or A double L Y is added to adjectives ending in IC. Or ick to form adverbs. For example, basic. So it will become basically. All right. So when we have ick or ic to make the adverbs, we add al, a l, y with it. Okay. Now I have some examples from your book. Let's look at those.
All right, here are some examples of suffixes. Able. The word change becomes changeable in its quality. Able. Response. Responsible. It's also quality. Full. Careful. Useful. It's also a quality. Next is ACY, right? Democracy. It's a kind of a state. Meant. Excitement. Entertainment. It's a kind of a state. Li. Homely. It's also a quality. ITY. Superior. Superiority, right? It's also a kind of a state. Here are some more examples which you can look at on the screen as well. Ains is also a state in hands. Ains state existence. OUS it's also a quality. Humorous. IOUS it's also a quality. Victorious. Asian. Termination it's also a state. Asian. Pronunciation. Kind of a state. Ains. Entrance. It's also a kind of a state now we we'll move towards our next exercise in exercise c use appropriate suffixes from the table above to form new words the table has been given in your assignment as well as in your book from that table you have to make new words by adding suffixes first one is notice so we can make the word noticeable from it Adore, adorable. So you have to do the rest in the same way. Now we'll move towards our next topic, which is suffixes to form nouns. So we can make nouns from the root words by adding suffixes, for example, or, er, dumb, ship, t, ism, and ness. For example, we can make a person like paint from paint. We can make painter, right? Create, creator, right? So the word dumb we can make, right? From free, we can make freedom. It's a kind of a domain, right? By using ship, like leader, we can make leadership. For the ship, leader, we can make leadership. So it's you can use it for the condition like grow, grow. So this is how by adding these suffixes we can actually make nouns. Let's move towards the exercise. Exercise D. Use appropriate suffixes from the table above to form nouns. The table is given in your assignment as well as in your book. Okay, first of all we have bake. We can make baker with it. It's a noun. Beg, beggar, right? So we can make nouns by adding suffixes to the root word. You are going to do the rest in the same way. Next is suffixes to form adjectives. Okay, so we can make adjectives by adding suffixes at the end of the root word. For example, ish, devilish, some, troublesome, worthy, trustworthy, like, lifelike, able or able, Reversible, full, hopeful, OUS, rigorous, IOUS, mysterious, right? So, uh, ish can be used for resembling, some can be used to show quality, worthy can be used for showing that this person is deserving or not, like is for the same thing, able or able is the quality, full is also a quality, o OUS and IOUS both are also the qualities. So according to that, we can add suffixes to make adjectives. Okay. Now we'll move towards our next exercise. In this exercise, use appropriate suffixes from the table above to form adjectives. Table is given in your books as well as in your assignments. First one is boy. So we can call boyish, like boy-like. Gray, grayish, right? Resembling the gray color, right? Okay, that's the end of part one. I'll see you in part two.
Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.